Good morning. Another Monday morning, another beautiful day, ready to start a new week. You know, it's odd. As I was typing in the date for today's Monday morning roar, I noticed it was, you know, September 10th, 2018. And I, of course, it made me think of what September 11th is. And, and then I thought, well, gosh, it's been 17 years. And it's odd to think that there are kids that are in high school right now, actually seniors in high school that were born during, you know, around that time or, you know, we're just newborns. And it's, uh, it's hard to believe that there's a, a whole new generation of people that, that have an experience, didn't go through that experience that, that a lot of us older folks did and, and know what that felt like. I was also thinking about that time of, you know, how that was 17 years ago and what's, What's changed in that 17 years? You know, right after 9-11, of course, we all got real patriotic, and that was really all good, and actually our country got, you know, all together real well, but for some reason that, that it didn't really, it hasn't really always lasted as long as it, it, it would have been nice to, and it's, and it's really, it's a tragedy that something like that has to happen to, to get us to be patriotic. I remember even back farther back during, the, the bicentennial years of 1976, how we all kind of got patriotic too, and, and then that kind of faded away. How is it that we can can have attitudes about things and thoughts about things and and do things one way and then we lose it eventually? How do how is it we lose that consistency? And I think that's a important with almost anything in our lives. We can sometimes we can binge on stuff we can get all excited about something and then later on we don't it doesn't seem to be as that as important until something else comes along and reminds us about how important it might be I think maybe it's time sometimes to to keep our make ourselves remember what it was that that brought us together at that time and, and bring ourselves back together now and, and the same way with with when we something else in our life that that's a very that's a very positive motion I mean I know we can't live in the past, but just remember the reasons why we were the way we were and, and, and therefore go forward and, and, and continue to be strong and even get stronger because of, because of what's happened in the past. I mean, it was a tragic day, September 11th, 2001. We can all remember where we, those of us are old enough can remember where we were that day and how hearing that news and coming home and watching it on TV and all the, you know, it just, it, it was just a, a scary day to know that that kind of thing was going. And I mean, even though I live here on the West coast and this was all happening back East, it, it was, it was still, it was still affecting us as every bit as much. We weren't, you know, we didn't have the, the, the planes fly into our buildings, but we, we felt the, the, the pain of the people in the world trade center and in Pennsylvania and in the Pentagon. So let's try when we have things that change our lives, let's make sure we know how much they change our lives and, 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 and dwell on it long enough to know that, that we can make an, a positive change for it. We can bring something positive out of it that, you know, they kept saying, well, we can't let the terrorists win. Well, if, if we go back to where we were before 9-11, we have kind of let the terrorists win. If we can change the way we think, the way we are, the way we treat each other, the way we go through life, then there's been positive in, in what's happened. And, and, and even though a lot of people don't like to think of there anything being positive, but, but we can be, we can have a positive, positive response to a very, very negative event. I wish you all a good, safe week this week. We're back. Labor Day is over. Summer in a lot of the country is over and it's time to, to, to hit back to the to fall and prepare for the winter. So have a great day. And I'll talk with you next week.